What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and we have a super duper fun video for you today. A few weeks ago, I did a couple Sonic recast videos, basically showing off who I'd choose to voice each character if it were up to me. And when I asked what other series I should do for this type of video, you guys of course suggested Crash Bandicoot, the main game series I talk about on this channel, so why not? Now let me be clear, this video is not saying I want the current cast of voice actors to be replaced. This is all just for fun. I already really love Sean as Crash, I still love Lex Lang as Cortex, and I think all the other voice actors are doing a fantastic job as well. That's how the Sonic video was made too, I just figured it would be a fun topic since the characters actually are getting recasted. So one last time, I don't want any of these Crash actors replaced. These are just my picks if they were getting replaced and it was up to me to decide who is replacing them. Rules are also the same as last time. No choosing a voice actor that has voiced the character before, and no unattainable Hollywood celebs. They have to be people who primarily do voiceover. Got it? Good. Let's begin. First up we have Crash Bandicoot himself. And you'd think it'd be pretty easy because he just makes noises, that's not hard to do. But Jess and Sean have actually set this unique characteristic and tone that just works so well for Crash's voice, and I can't imagine him sounding like anything different. I mean, you can't just do a generic head voice going, WOW! And you can't just make random animal noises, blah, 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 because neither really sound like Crash. Crash has this wacky but still innocent sound to his voice, so I want someone who can do that. And for that role, I choose Lawrence Simpson, also known as Masako X. You may know him as Goku or Gohan in Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Now you may be hearing Abridged Goku talking in your head and you're going, huh? Why him? But remember, Crash of course doesn't talk. I base this off the noises. So when you hear them, you'll come around. Let's listen. Coco Bandicoot was a bit tricky at first, but I think I figured it out. I really like the sass and attitude that Debbie Derryberry brought to the role, but as of Crash 4, it seems like they're going in more of a sporty, angry gamer girl direction with Coco. Not a huge fan of it, but whatever, so I wanted to get a voice actress who could sort of switch between both on a whim, and for that I choose Ashley Johnson. You may know her as Ellie from The Last of Us, Terra from Teen Titans, or Tulip from Infinity Train. Let's listen. I'm on a big train? Like a really weird big train? How does this door work? Are, are you like a real robot? Are there other people on here? Is this what trains are like? What do you mean? You you said if I brought my grade up in English, I could go. You, you, you and Dad signed a contract and everything. Now let's go ahead and get the hardest one out of the way. Dr. Neo Cortex. And this one is especially difficult because to me, Lex Lang is Cortex a thousand times more than Mike Pollock is Dr. Eggman. And that's a big deal because you know how people feel about that particular voice role. And after a very long pause on my end, I think I've finally chosen a voice. Now before I say who it is, please, please, please think about how different Clancy Brown and Lex Lang are as Cortex. They sound and act completely different. Clancy Brown can be legitimately threatening as Cortex, but with an air of clumsiness. Meanwhile, Lex Lang is insane, wacky, and just downright mad as Cortex. So the voice actor I chose combines the legitimately threatening aspect with the comedically insane aspect, even though they sound completely different from Lex Lang and Clancy Brown. I chose Stephen Ogg, who you know as Professor Venomous from OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes, and Trevor from Grand Theft Auto. Let's listen. Thanks to you, I have nothing left I could possibly attack the plaza with! Can I get, uh, three Crunch Dog Supremes, two, uh, Schnitzel Twists? I am so sorry! I am... I told you, if they catch you, I'll have you dead before the torture gets too unpleasant! So yeah, that is very different from what you're used to hearing from Dr. Neo Cortex, but Stephen Ogg can do it all. He can be legitimately threatening, he can be a blubbering baby, or he can just be completely insane and angry. You saw it. So I think that, despite how different he sounds, Stephen Ogg would be a great choice for Cortex if Lex Lang ever got replaced. Aku Aku was super duper easy, I'm a huge fan of this actor. I picked Dave Finoy. His voice is a bit deeper than Greg Eagles and Mel Winkler, but it's just as tender, caring, and fatherly, so I think he'll work really well if he got casted as Aku Aku. You may know him as Rodan in the Bayonetta games or Lee in the Walking Dead games. Let's listen. You need to know how to protect yourself. I mean, with one of these. 
You picked a lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? All by yourself through this? I think that might be a little while. Crunch Bandicoot is also super duper easy. I'm giving him the same actor I gave Knuckles in my Sonic video, Kari Payton. I just think he works really well for these types of characters. If you don't know, he plays King Ezekiel on The Walking Dead and Cyborg in Teen Titans. That's really good for Crunch because Crunch is a cyborg, and I think I've even heard Crunch say booyah from time to time. Let's have a listen. You're on the wrong side of this. Keep thinking that. Too much Trigon for breakfast? Fly away now. Here's a little something for you. About to get real up in here. Gonna bust you up. Weapons hot. Got you now. Try some of this. Radar lock. Incoming. Come get some. Booyah! Dingo Dial was yet another very easy choice, but I took an interesting road to get there. You see, normally he was Australian, but I was thinking, why not do something different since we see him in sort of a Bayou or New Orleans type area in Crash 4. You know, I was thinking we'd maybe give him a Cajun exit, you know, since he's in the dino cooking up that gumbo and jambalaya house, yeah? But ultimately, I went back to Australian with John Patrick Lowry, who you may know as the voice of Sniper from Team Fortress 2. Let's listen. Take that! Book smarts! Back to the drawing board, genius! Not so smart with your brains outside your head, are you? Here's a gadget you should build! One what stops my bullets! You are inventing loads of new ways to get killed by me! Oi! You're bleeding gravy, fatso! Then finally we come to Tana Bandicoot, and this is like the fourth easy choice in a row. Yay! I guess I'm being shown mercy after that difficult Cortex choice. Anyways, my pick for Tana is Ashley Birch. She sounds a bit younger than Tana does in It's About Time, but she also sounds a lot cooler instead of sounding like she's trying to be cool. You may know her as Miss Pauling from Team Fortress 2 or Enid from OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes. Take a listen. Reporting for duty, sir! A steamed potato! It sat there in the mess hall begging to be eaten! <laughs> yeah, it's been ages since I saw them last. Now they can finally get to know the real me too! As a ninja! KO! I'm so happy to see you both! I can't believe you snuck into point prep! And there you have it, a nice handful of voice actors I'd cast as the Crash characters if it were up to me. Let me know which characters you want to see me recast in part 2, and let me know what other series you'd like me to do. And let me know what you think of these choices, I'm sure you have plenty to say about Cortex. All of that should go in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Leopold the Brave, out.